people go through shit and all yeah. that. But you could tell that Will is looking at Martin t- for like, like you, you good? Like you, you want to continue this, or you just want to be like, fuck it? You could, t- I could see that mm-hmm. energy on the camera. But then there's a moment where. And I, I was going to do a video talking about this because I'm like, am I the only? I can't be the only one that's seen this and noticed mm-hmm. that like his hands were like shaking. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that, bro. I you kinda... can tell, like, you know, he's there, but you could tell, like, you know, his. He, I don't know. It's not, I don't know what it is per se, but I've been mm-hmm. seeing like, okay, is Martin looks sick? a little. I, I'm I'm gonna assume so. I'm, I'm gonna assume he's going through some shit. You know, what I'm saying some health shit. Yeah. But then it was like, I, I was saying that. in the comments, like, oh, then why would he do, so he going to do a whole movie and he's sick. I'm like, bro, like, you if really got to the think. bread, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a nigga need that money, plus, why he... If it's something he can sit through, he's going to do it, bro. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, he did it. He did a whole movie. <laughs> Still. You know, but I, niggas saying he a clone and... It's not really him, and they love this clone. It's shit, a mask. Man. And I'm just why, like, why do niggas think? Why do niggas think the government is interested in cloning niggas? <laughs> why the fuck I do mean, they choose us to clone of all people? I mean, when you got a movie like they clone Tyrone, the fact oh, that yeah, it came yeah, out, that's true. That's true. The fact that it came out after Jamie Foxx is about to pass, technically. Yeah, you know, it's messing with their minds, right? Yeah. But. That's funny though. If that's you it. know, like, you know. Them. If you know, you know, bro. Like, come. I'm like, come, Martin. Come yeah, that's on, what I'm saying. Like, Martin. I'm not saying that he's not a legend. Yeah. But, and then I was like, I was, bro. I was literally standing on the phone, looking at my phone, like, I was like this, like, I'm not gonna comment this shit because I'm like, you really think Will Smith is still gonna do Bad Boys without him? Right. If he was a clone, Will Smith would have said some shit by now, nigga. Right. Yo, I'm not you doing bad boys. About it. You know what I mean? Because, like, Will, that's it. nah, they, they ain't oh, you no, know, yo, yo, that's the thing, man. I think, like, and, okay. like, I know that, like, when people say that clone shit, they're joking, right? I know it's, like, just comedy. And then there are the niggas or the people that think that shit is true. Like, they, they, they actually believe it. These people I'm talking They're, about, they, they really believe this shit. Man, that shit is sad, bro. It's sad because I think, like, in a country, like, and see, uh, and people don't think of this shit, and I just researched it a couple, like, maybe a month ago. I researched the demographics of this country as far as people, race, and gender, right? Uh, black Americans make up eight, 14 to 18% of the people here. Um, just talking <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And then it's crazy. I think like Hispanics and all the other ethnicities be we, we, we all together be about 36% of the population in America. The rest is white people. So in a place that's so dominantly controlled by white people, why the fuck would they clone a black person and make it successful too? Successfully clone a black person. What interest would that be for them? You know what I'm Bro. saying? It's like, like it, it makes no sense to, to. I know, I know. At some point, because I know yeah. this message, I know this shit is getting to Mark. I know, at, I know somebody's like, yo, they're, they're saying, woo, woo, woo. he's like, fuck that, right? Right. But I know at some point he's gonna say something or whatever. Yeah. Like they said, Jamie Foxx was a clone, and clearly, right? Which is they said Gucci Mane they... was a clone. They said Which Kodak is... was a clone. Yeah, like so Kodak the back. Like, they, they killed the clone, and now regular back, Kodak like, was back. Is he regular? Because he, <laughs> he's still getting, he's still getting in trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's still doing the Kodak things that we knew Kodak did before he he went to jail. And that's I the thing. Like, I think to, people. I can't. I, I. They just take it too far for me sometimes. Yeah, man. I think, like, like I said, you know, is, is the niggas that are funny that think it's a joke. And then, it, then they're they're the people that really think of conspiracy it. theories without really fully understanding the world. They really don't understand the world they live in. They just they just understand 
their world where mm-hmm. where it's like mm-hmm. you know 10 20 block radius that's the extent of their understanding of the world like because i if it's going to be clones bro if america is going to clone anybody it's going to be soldiers because there's so much war like things exactly. that are getting ready to happen why exactly. would they clone celebrities like who the and fuck again, are they? they don't get me wrong right like even that is in movies cloning and right. building soldiers Right. right. Always so, it's always the soldiers first. You know what I mean? It's always universal soldier, um, terminator. Like these are all military people. Why would they clone a celebrity? They have nothing to offer the country as a whole. Like a celebrity is no one to them. So and I, you know, I'll so, say this, right? Because yeah. this is another comment that was popped up in my head as I'm seeing these videos popping up in and out. When do when I said, yo, like he's obviously clearly going through some health issues you probably just don't know what's yeah. really going on and it's because we're mm-hmm. they're all confused martin's not mm-hmm. saying nothing i'm like bro right right in a movie he's not gonna come out here and be like woo 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 maybe right. after it comes out or whatever and you know but just the thing like when i read when his comment said oh so he's sick and he gonna do a whole movie bro chadwick boseman was sick the entire time right and look at what he gave us so it's like right what are y'all talking about bro like (laughs) this man gave us top tier movies while he was sick they said it around like this nigga was falling asleep and shit like martin no uh chadwick 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 Chadwick. yeah in moments where they're not doing much he's just sleeping and shit like that but it's like this man been sick yeah the nigga's might not be what's kind of like going through but Right. Same difference. Like they still act, they still perform. So it's like, come on, yeah. man. Come on. Come on. Y'all yeah, these people, you know, got like I said, it's it's and it's hard to, to determine if it's a, if people are joking about it or if they're like they truly believe this shit. I mean, I can't I can't see an adult believing this. It doesn't, you know, you know, if you nah, understand these men, bro. Yeah, these niggas are dummies, man. Like, grown and that's the man. thing too, right? And I might be, and I might be naive too, right? I might think that everybody are thinkers, like like the, like like the way we think about things. Like I think, as we should, as right? we should, like we think about things a little bit more than the average person. Um, and granted, a lot of those people are commenting are the average people who don't think much. Not to saying that like they're average in the sense of like Unfortunately, financial no. <laughs> or things like that. We're just thinking about we're talking about mentality, how far you think about things. Like I think a nigga rather think about going to the strip club and spending money more than he think about what happened in history 20 years ago, because it might be happening now again. Right. That's not a thought in a lot of people's mind. But we do. We think mm. about it. We look at it and we like, hmm. This happened. This before. is like <laughs> this happened before. Yep, yep. This was just happening, you know, thirty years ago, and it's happening again. Okay, is it going to get as bad? Is it going to get worse? Is it going? You know, what's going to happen with this situation? So, I think we think that way. Most people don't, and that's fine. Nah, you know, um, nah. But the clone shit, they got to cut that shit out, man. What they talk about, man? They cloning. Yeah. They ain't cloning no niggas. But look, man. it went. It went from clone to. I'm telling y'all, man, it's a mask. A mask. The fuck are you wearing a mask for? Now, because it's a video where, and this is the thing, right? And I'm only saying this because I know. Yeah. Right. Um, if I'm ruining it for some people in this moment, I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's a video of Martin. You could probably find it, but fuck it for right now. They're like, mm-hmm. look at the dude's face. This doesn't look like Martin. Martin don't have these lines and shit. But I'm like, y'all are so slow because Martin's not doing all his stunts. Right. Right. Does, Does that ring a bell double, to bro. anybody? It could have been an easy stunt double that stood in right. a video with Will and just did some dumb mm-hmm. shit just to fool y'all to go watch this movie even more. Right. Right. If I'm spoiling it for 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 that, I mean it's too late now. The movie's done. Yeah. It's going to make what it's going to make. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, not going exactly. to stop that. But just to burst some people's bubbles, like, these are all marketing tactics, bro. Right. Okay? It, it And again, this is still not straying away from the fact that Martin might really be going through some real shit. 
Yeah, that's the thing, bro. I, and it I, did look and I, like a stunt double, Martin, in the clip. Because mm. you could tell he kind of had like makeup on and shit. It wasn't mm-hmm. a mask. You could tell it was makeup. So yeah, it clearly could have been a just a, a a PR stunt, bro. Just some funny shit, you know. But I'm wondering I, though, <laughs> because what, what you said earlier about like like Martin when you you, you said the, the shit the handshaking thing, right? Because uh, I saw that I saw that when they first started talking about this movie and announcing it, I I saw the shaking shit, bro. And I'm like, yo, this nigga don't look too good. Like you about to and do again, a movie. It, is the shaking is that Parkinson's? I think that's what I'm thinking. So it's like if it's that cool, right? Like that's not to yeah. say it's not bad, but mm-hmm. you know, smoke some weed. It's, yeah, but <laughs> right, it helps. Smoke some weed. It really does yeah. help. Um, but and again, I could still be wrong. In my mind, mm-hmm. I'm like, maybe is it really cold in there? Who know? Like it was just a lot going through my mind. Like, hmm. Mm-hmm. But I just knew that he wasn't 100 percent. Martin, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that Martin that we grew up knowing, you know, they're expecting yeah. that. I'm like, bro, like, but he's older too, bro. The <laughs> nigga, like, t- fucking twenty I mean, years older now. I mean, you know what I mean? Bro, From like the same video, oh, it, it's just crazy. I, I just think people just need to mind their business. <laughs> yeah, realistically, stop you know, thinking stop. so hard, man. <laughs> yeah, like just just chill, bro. Like you know, let the man do what he's doing. Yeah. On the flip side, if it's a clone, it's a clone. Mm-hmm. What you going? What they going to do? What, like, what? What is you telling people it's a clone going to do? Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you didn't do. You know, and that's <laughs> the thing. Like, I think like the internet has got to the point where, and granted, they have solved a lot of mysteries. Right. For example, like I know a lot of uh, crimes in like hip hop where niggas is like, yo, they'll go back, rewatch the video. People start deciphering the, the video and actually bring people to justice. It's, I've seen it happen. So I can see where the internet is like, yo man, now nah, we, 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 we all, we're good at finding out the truth. So let's do our detective work and find out all oh, that niggas a clone. But I feel like they were better off just saying like, like, like you said, either it was cold in the room or the nigga is is in the early stages of Parkinson's disease and, and he's shaking uncontrollably. Like that that would have been easier to say than, than cloning. Like if that was, bro, if, if they showed Arnold or uh, Squash Negro uh, uh, fucking shaking mm-hmm. or doing some weird shit and they say they cloned him, I, I, would, I probably would believe that shit. <laughs> right? I would believe that shit. Right? Because... And isn't he about to do another Terminator? Is I might he? be reaching. I think he is though. I'm not, I might. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like I feel like I seen it. I might. I might have dreamt the shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, bro. And, and again, I I get the speculation. I get the yeah. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. On, and, and my thing. Not... This is a message to the people that really believe that, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I would imagine you're pushing this message that they clone Martin. Yeah. You you making it seem like they could clone Martin, nigga, they coming for you. Now you a clone. That's, if this that's is what's what really happening. Right. If, if they're going to clone him, bro. It's nothing I, I to mean, clone then, you. <laughs> not the, on, not, not even, that, even, even that. Not even that. I would say, like, <laughs> right, if, if they're going to they're gonna come all the way down here to clone a nigga, what about the president? What about the senators? What about the billionaires? They wouldn't do them first. Why come to us? You know, why come down here to a celebrity with a couple of millions? Why go get the big boys, the billionaires? Yeah. You know, yeah, so that's the thing. Like, I think, like, I think it's a joke, man. I don't even believe this shit. As it's like something serious. Like, it's a joke to me, right? You know, clone in niggas, please. Fucking I'm clone in niggas. niggas. I know at some point he gonna say something, bro. Like, yeah, I I think he's sick, bro. He I, and I mean I didn't want to like think that way about it, but I feel like he's suffering from something that it's, something, it's not bro. so. Like, yeah, it's something going on with him. It's something. Even like his cheeks is like really big and like like this part puffy. of his face is round. Yeah, puffy. So I know that's not either. The nigga just really gained weight because he's older. But the shaking thing, I can't explain. I, it's like, and again, you know, I know. Again, when you just know, like you know, certain medications do that. 
That is, yes, that is true. Uh, fake, like, for example, you remember, the, you, you heard about the shit with Wayne? They said the same shit with Wayne at one point. Why is Wayne has some, yeah. He went to the dentist. That don't mean he going to stop doing this pod. Right. He can still went and did podcasts and did interviews. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. He went to the dentist. His face was swollen up. Maybe yeah. Martin went to the yeah. dentist. It's just so many little things, bro. But it's like, you know what I mean? They want to believe this clone. He got a mask on. It's not really Martin. I'm just like, you know what? Bro, they added Why we can't you know, believe in some other shit? You know? Why we can't believe in we all about to be billionaires? Some Something good. <laughs> not some bigger shit like good. that. Fuck. That's the shit, bro. Like, I was watching... Um, who said... Oh, I was watching Charleston White a couple weeks ago. And he, he was saying this. He said, uh, you know, he was like, he don't believe in karma which was interesting and i'm like hmm, that's interesting he said i don't believe in karma because every time someone mentions karma it's always something negative there's no such it's like nobody ever mentions good karma like something good happening it's rare, it's rare. i've also heard right? somebody say that too you rarely hear good karma rarely. good karma it's always like oh you you did bad oh bad is coming back to you but it's never like oh you did good good is coming back to you that's just rarely mentioned and and he's like this it, it can't be like if 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 these things are true and real they should work both ways if they don't work both ways then it's, it has to be like black magic or something evil it has really? to be something conjured from an evil space and you know nobody living i think you know got the power to conjure up evil i could be wrong right but i, I you know i don't believe People these days got the power to actually conjure up. Oh, uh, I gotta be careful with these words, mm-hmm. <laughs> but mm-hmm. but the most I could say is like, in the simplest way, is you know there's good, you know there's bad, right? Right. There's really no difference between good. And bad mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. shit, but when you think about it, and we've experienced this growing up, period. Mm-hmm. If we manifest something good, it might take a minute, but you manifest some bad shit, that shit might happen right away. Right away, yeah. <laughs> right, that's that's so, the thing. So they say that you know this is why people say when you work against things or you you try to you know have bad things happen they always happen because it's easier for something bad to happen than for something good now mm-hmm. don't you know this ain't me really saying it but you know when you really think about it even if you think back of like your own stuff it's like damn man like go oh, find that bad shit that shit happened shit happened pretty like right quick away. <laughs> you know, you know, or you, you, you're so in shock about the shit, but yeah, there, there is something about what you say, and bro. I promise you, just so mm-hmm. you understand, we, we don't really plan the episodes. Yeah, but what we're talking about, bro, is in this Black Ops trailer that we're gonna watch at the end. Mm-hmm. Just keep mm-hmm. this, keep this whole conversation in mind. So when we watch the trailer, and you hear what they're talking about. You gonna see you gonna you gonna it's gonna connect back because yeah. they're literally talking about that in mm-hmm. the trailer <laughs> out of all fucking things now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but I uh, I'm more on the good side, you know. Mm-hmm. Unless it's and this is the crazy part, right? Unless it's towards people that are bad, <laughs> you're not gonna really want to wish good on someone who's attacking you, right? Right. But yeah. Boo boo boom. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, brother. Like you you should have yeah. never you know, it, it it's a it's a weird thing, but it's mm-hmm. shit is trippy, bro. That's all I can say. It's it's very fucking trippy. I wish yeah, it, the best it's Martin, weird, man. man. Martin is our childhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. He's going yeah. through hopefully it, the Martin show comic was it comic? What was it? What was the show was he on? Um 
Dev Comedy Jam, he was the host for that. And I mean, Martin have done a lot of shit. Big Mama House and all this other shit that he's done, he's a, I think. He's a legend. But he's older too, man. You know, I'm not, you know, Age. I don't. He's, I, I mean, I don't even know how old this nigga is. 50, 60? Let's, not. Let's Google it. Yeah, let's Google probably. It. Let me see. Let me see. I think maybe like like late sixties, maybe fifty nine. He's fifty nine right now. Fifty nine, so sixty, pretty much, right? So okay, so he's a fucking, he's almost a senior citizen. He's always really there, you know. So I don't, I, I expect those type of things to start happening when niggas start, you know. I remember when Muhammad Ali started shaken from the parkinson's and he was old he wasn't young then he was probably around the same age actually um probably. so i'm not surprised this nigga has some issues i think will smith is a bit younger than martin um and will smith is a healthy motherfucker that nigga take care of his body so yeah i mean you I, know, I don't it, expect it, it is what it is man it. you know that shit fall in the jeans you not jeans sure as well right Terry. We don't yeah. personally know Martin. We don't know his family, and you know we don't like right. we don't know shit. So it's like, yeah, come on, man, like chill out. A clone, it's okay, clone and Martin. Man, get out of here. These niggas is crazy. Yo, leave it leave that crazy. nigga Martin alone. That fucking guy ain't no goddamn clone, nigga. It is you what know? it is. Yeah. And and it's so yeah. crazy because we just jumped into that topic already. But we're gonna jump into the real one for tonight. <laughs> well, yeah, part two. That's a nice little intro for you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess the first topic for us is like uh people living beyond their means. Like we was talking about this um a couple couple of days ago. And and it's interesting, right? Because I think <laughs> so celebrities have us celebrities being visible in social media has ushered in um this pressure for average people to appear like they're they're on par with celebrities like their counterparts sit on where they're celebrity got a lambo or average person got a lambo celebrity taking trips or average you know so i think a lot <laughs> of people now are living beyond their means or are taking crazy risk to appear like they're living beyond their means you yeah. know what i mean and i think about people like um what Omi and the Hellcat, right? And right, I and and not necessarily living beyond his means because the things he did actually gave him. He got the money. Yeah, to, he actually had the millions, but he he took risk that was unconventional, and now he's in jail for it, right? And then you know o Omi is flashing all these cars and all these expensive things that he's acquired. Be, with the money, but that money was illegal. It's no difference from, you know, getting those emails back in 1999 on, on AOL when motherfuckers talking about, oh, um, I got a sick grandmother over here and, and send some money here and we'll that, send that it right. That shit was here. crazy. Remember those times? That shit and was crazy. I feel like what Omi did to get the money was equivalent to that. So. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. Fuck it. Technically. You know what I mean? Technically. You know, if, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, like Omi, um, um, Fabric, I mean, look, created pretty look. much. I mean, yeah, pretty much created a fire stick, his own fire stick, where he gave all the channels and he charged people monthly subscriptions for those like fire sticks to have access to those channels. Um, and you know, if you know anything about fire stick, you know that's not all the way legit. You know, actually not legit at all. There's nothing legit about having a fire stick and having access to all these channels and things. Um, I believe, you know, but that's like gonna, I think he's going to come back from that, though. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a smart dude, man. When when you think about it, though, Fire Stick is also still doing exactly what he did. Right. That's, that's why I was like, <laughs> it's it's a lot, but yeah. If you know, you know. If you like, I know a lot of people right now got fire sticks and mm -hmm. everything's on it. Everything is on right. it. So it's like, mm -hmm. who's doing that? <laughs> right. You know what I'm like, saying? Exactly. Who is, is the only, 
over there. Where's Omi for that company right now? Because he should be in jail too. You know what I mean? Like, why isn't he being arrested? And that's the thing. Like, and that's where the bias, the racist bias goes, and, yeah. and all those things come into to play. Yeah. But Shout out Omi, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I, and, I, and I like that dude, man. I've, I've watched him, and I just think, you know, I mean, we, I think we was talking about this too, where like things are so difficult right now um, to obtain high amounts of mo- large amounts of money. It's very difficult. It's always been hard. I think the, the pandemic, PPP loans, and social media has tricked people into believing making lots of money is easy. It's not fucking easy. Like that shit requires, like, put it like this: if you're working, an, if you're working forty hours a week, for, doesn't matter what you're doing, you're not making a high levels of money. You got to work more than that. Mm-hmm. You know. The only time you're going to be working two, three, four, five hours is if you've already established the business that you've been working 80 hours a week to build, you know? Um, So making a lot of money is hard. So I can see where people are like, I have to find an unconventional way to do it, but a lot of those ways aren't legal, you know, which is funny, right? Because I think a lot of these (laughs) millionaires cut a lot of corners and did a lot of crazy shit to get to where they are. Yeah. But they're not subjected to prison time and and the, the atrocities that come with uh um being involved in these things. I, I think the only person that I know was Bernie Madoff that's like really died in jail behind these billions he's been he embezzled from people. So far, you yeah. Know? At least that, that you know we know mean? of right now. That we know yeah. of. You I'm know sure I mean? there's um, others that they just not gonna name, but you know. El Chapo is another one, right? But that's a cartel leader. Like that's that's murder and all types of crazy shit involved in the things he's has uh he has done. Um, but you know, going back to living beyond your means, right? Where I think people are so pressured or they feel the pressure to impress um people yeah, they don't it. know, which is crazy. Definitely. Imagine, you know. You go, you go and max out your credit to buy a fucking, <laughs> not a Lambo because that's a little bit expensive to buy a Benz, right? Uh, uh whatever Benz, eighty hundred thousand dollar Benz, just because you feel like you don't get respect in real life. No one really look at you as the man or the woman. So you so said, I right, fucking let me, get, let me get this Benz, and maybe that'll change their perspective of me. And treat me a little bit better, respect me a little bit more, give me more likes on my posts when I post, you know, however, yeah. whatever the reasoning is. And I listen, man, if you got to buy anything on credit, you don't you can't afford it. That's 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 the rule with credit. <laughs> that you don't know if you have to buy it with credit, you can't afford it. There's a difference with having to buy it and a difference with I rather put it on credit, but I got the money. You know, um, and a lot of people are in predicaments where they have to buy it on credit. Now you owe that money. Now you're paying these, paying this money back three, four times, you know, four <laughs> months. And after the fifth month, you're like, man, fuck that shit. I ain't paying that shit no more. <laughs> now you owe them all that money. You know, it's a lot tough. of people in those, in those predicaments, even Baby Blue from from Pretty Ricky. Um, I think he's he might be free now, but he. Yeah, yeah he is. Went to jail for a similar type of type of type type of thing. Um, These you know, is hustlers, alone embezzling, right? These is hustle, and right. and again, it's fucked up, right? Because like we know Blue, <laughs> we know whole mm-hmm. Pretty Ricky spec. Oh, shout out to Pretty Ricky, right? Mm-hmm. But it's fucked up that you go do time for helping your own community, mm-hmm. <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. I get it. Like we get it. We understand, but it's like these, these people are helping people that no one else is going to help. And then you take this person away, just like Omi, you take Omi yes. away from helping us like a, literally a civilization of people, a whole community mm-hmm. that bro, you, you go from, imagine you, you go from paying a hundred to 200 on cable to saying, yo, pay me 50, bro. Every $50. Yeah. Type of shit. And it's like, and we, we spoke about this with Kyle too, right? Yeah. Where it's like you you sue you want to sue Kyle for a shoe that mm-hmm. essentially, I guess, is infringement. But versus like saying, "Yo, you know mm-hmm. what? That million, let's do a collaboration." 
Mm-hmm. Like I said, or if it was Omi, why, bro? I am sh- I'm a hundred percent sure Verizon mm-hmm. or whoever or Firestick would have made ten times more money collaborating with Omi, working with him, yeah, than putting him in jail. <laughs> so, You're right. And again, I, yeah. I, you know, we're using them as a. It's like a example, but it's still like, yo, mm-hmm. like th- this is the things people really do to get themselves out of a situation or get people mm-hmm. out of a situation. So that's the risk that we was just talking about. Like that's a crazy yeah. risk. Yeah. But <laughs> not only is he in jail, you had to pay Nike eight million. I saw right. We just saw that right. Where, where I, he lost that judgment. I got to pay him. So I am. So that's total of $9 million from two motherfuckers. Yeah. Two people that's feeding and helping a community versus Nike that I'm not saying Nike's doing worse, but when you think about it, it's like, y'all was better off collabing with these brothers than suing. Why? Why put them? (laughs) Why suing them? You know, but it it is what it is, right? I guess, I guess, you know. I guess they, they see they see him eating, they see all them cars. Yeah. You know, it got to be illegal, yeah. right? I, you know, it's, it's sad, bro. right? So, exactly. <laughs> it's just crazy, bro. bro. Like, but I never, I never thought. Right, that's sad. I never thought that people, um, I was well, not thought. I didn't realize that people were so. I would say jealous of other people succeeding. Right. I, I, I never understood the idea of looking at someone who's figured something out and reaping the benefits of it and and, and you being in the corner like, mm, nah, fuck that, man. That can't be. He got to be doing something wrong, uh, officer. You know, <laughs> he, then you, you, you start stitching and it's like, who like who cares? Why not figure it? Figure something out for yourself, you know, or. It's enough money for everybody, man. Come on. That's like, the that's main shit. thing. It's enough. But, America is printing money like water coming from a fucking well. They don't care how much they print it. Just keep pumping the goddamn machine up. That's all they do. They're greedy. Do. They're greedy. Even though there's enough. First of all, there's more than enough for all of us. Like yeah, every man. single one of us to be millionaires, yeah. billionaires. Mm-hmm. So, it, it, you know. It's tough, but I, I think it it shows why the topic is so important. Mm-hmm. People want to live so above. Yeah. That they're willing to fucking sacrifice their freedom, their life. Life. <laughs> you know bro, like to and... Credit scores and, and, and just fuck themselves up big time. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. It's tough. And I think it is, I think it is shit often, bro, because... I tried to figure out what is the allure. Is it just social media's influence and pressure? Or is it that there are a lot of people who haven't experienced much in life, right? I, I think about this like a maybe a man or a woman in their late 30s. They've worked their nine to five their whole life. You, mm-hmm. know, you ask them, hey, how many trips have you been on? They're like, uh, one or two. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, damn, okay. How much of your life so far have you in, you can say you enjoyed and actually yeah. you know, had fun with? And they're like, mm, I've always worked. I've been working since I was 18. I'm 38 now. I took two vacations out of those years. Um, I don't own a home. I mm-hmm. got a car that I'm paying a note on. Um, and I just make enough to like, go buy some groceries and then eat that and go back to work. Yeah. And then... Might go out, but other might than go that, out here and there. You know what I mean? You, you're not necessarily living a fruitful life, and then you go online, and then you, you see a motherfucker <laughs> talking about Dubai. I'm driving. Yeah, I'm driving my Lambo to the airport, and the Lambo is going to a container to be shipped to Dubai, and I'm going to do a, a race car driving in Dubai for two days, then 
We're going to fucking go to Thailand for another two weeks, and then we're going to come back home after that. And it's like that, you know, you, you, you Imagine see you're coming back stuff. home to a big ass house, <laughs> big ass house. And granted, right. I know <laughs> a lot of those people have put in the work to obtain course, those things. Of course. That's um, why they do it. But I, but I realize a lot of, uh, a lot of people bust their ass. at just haven't been given the, the opportunity to get mm-hmm. to that level, you know? So are they less deserving of it? And can we fault them for wanting something um, as, outside of working, right? And take a risk, like you said. We just talking about taking a risk, right? And a nigga, like you know what? I've been working for all these years. Nothing has really panned out for me. Okay, let me. Uh, somebody come up to them, like, yo, man, we about to like uh, start this trucking business, but we're going to be like shipping weed. And it's like. <laughs> Fuck it. How much is the trips, nigga? Like yeah. fifty thousand dollars each trip. Word. Oh, yeah, 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 let's do it. Then come to find out, oh man, that that weed ain't legal wherever it was coming from. It ain't, ain't the right place, and now you in jail. Like, damn, man. I took a I risk. Mean, the money was good, you know, but I'm here now, and it's like, damn. You know, I just wanted a little bit more. One, weed is another one. <laughs> yeah. Weed is another uh, scheme that you yeah. know, they use. Like, I mm-hmm. recently seen that too. Uh, some, I don't know where it was, but it was in New York. Mm-hmm. Filled up a whole van from that one store full of weed. Just took all that. Like, shit. They, they robbed it? No, like, confiscated it. <laughs> Technically, oh, the robbed it. Technically, <laughs> the they police. fucking robbed it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, the NYPD. <laughs> like, ain't it ain't it legal? But well, who, <laughs> who are the people they took it from? Like a bl- it black people, I'm assuming, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I ain't really like fully read into it, but I just kind of seen it. Yeah. I was like, so it's the same thing, right? It's like, and I, I think I told you that. Like right now, they're doing yeah. that bill where it's like, yo, like it's t- it's time. That yeah. bill about to get signed up. So they're they trying to reap what they want, too. So it's like, it's mm-hmm. a two-sided thing. And I think to even answer what you were saying, it's, it's 50-50. It's 50-50. Mm-hmm. They, they want to experience it. Mm-hmm. But at, at the same time, it's like, do you want to risk? Do you want to yeah. risk it to experience it? Like, how like, much is this risk? You know, we start to <laughs> 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 You want to be a millionaire? You like, yeah, nigga. Like, all right, you gotta do something for me. What I gotta do for you? Mm-hmm. Uh, cut off your pinky. You start looking at your hand like, <laughs> like <laughs> pinky. <laughs> Million dollars. Do I need this shit right here? Do I fucking need this? Like, what do I? You start thinking about all the things you hold, and do you use it to hold it? <laughs> it's that bad. Honestly, it's pretty bad, bro. I mean. You know what I'm <sighs> Most I could say is there's there's ways, yeah. But the same way you gotta sacrifice, or the same like the same way we was laughing at this this pinky concept, but it's like yeah. Look at your pinky as like damn like, what am I really gonna do to like mm-hmm. change my life? First of all, let, let's. Right. Let's let's break down the little above means, right? First of all, some people don't even want to leave their hood. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. We can start there. You don't want to leave the hood. You yeah. don't want you don't want me to go to the second one. They don't want to leave their own girl, their family. Yeah, and I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But these are the sacrifices you really gotta make to lock in on you. To get yeah. to that to that place, but if mm-hmm. you don't want to leave or you don't want to evolve, mm-hmm. you're gonna be you're gonna be thinking about this pinky like, man, I don't need this shit. Yeah. I got another one. I, cut, I got a cut million. That show. Dollars. <laughs> <It's> a million. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. Fuck no, nigga. Fuck no. But Yo, it, it's it, a- you know, it's tough. It's tough, yeah. but like I mean, we could use ourselves as ex- an example right now. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, we we want bro. First off, this what nineteen? 
Yeah, yeah, it's episode this, nineteen this, right now. This is our nineteenth episode, mm-hmm. right? Imagine when we're at episode 30, 40, yeah, fifty, three, two, three hundred. You know, <laughs> like that's like y'all might see the same view, but yeah. nigga, my background might not be the same. His background might right. not be the same. Right, it might even be in the same room, and it, it's like a live. Um, in room recording, like you know, like, host, like, we might get a studio, but that's an investment right. that we know. All right, put in this time. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, this podcast is bringing in six figures. Right. Then we move on to another project, <laughs> which we already mm-hmm. we already have in our heads. Right. It's just right. Doing it, executing it, you gotta, you gotta it. put in the work. <laughs> it's it's the work. And again, I know podcasting. I'm not gonna tell everybody to get into a podcast, but yeah, if you, like he we, we we always talk about it. If you like to talk, yeah, get into a podcast. You don't yeah. even gotta do what we doing with the camera, lights. You don't mm-hmm. gotta do all that. You can just do an audio, nigga, and be straight. Like right, right. But it is a sacrifice. Um, you don't gotta sacrifice yeah, your people. Right. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta do the you don't, you don't gotta do that. Uh, but you know, but you got to put in the work, though. I think you know, and and you just said it too. Like where where, where the work is, like <clears throat> the work is essential, because like going back to the guy that you know that that uh, that's been working all his life and doing the nine to five, and you're looking at the the millionaire on YouTube or or whatever social media, and you're like, God damn, man, that nigga like way younger than me. He got all this shit, yeah, man, because he made the right decisions. You know, he find he found the things that work for him earlier on in life, and that's the thing. Like, I think um, the earlier you start thinking about who you want to be and what you want, um, it just gives you a heads up, um, a, a, a earlier start than everybody else, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, I was watching, I saw this kid on YouTube like a couple years ago. And he was 21 years old and he was investing in, in, into properties. And this was like, I think during the pandemic too, he was buying properties and he was saying like, you know, all my friends go out, they have fun, they go and party. He was like, I leave school and I come home and they like invite me out, but I don't go. He said, I just stay here and I get on the computer, go to Zillow or whatever. And I look for properties that I can put some money into. And he said, you know, I've been doing that since I was 19. Now I'm, I think he was 21 at the time he did the video. And he said, now I have 10 properties that are renting and I'll never have to work again. 10 is crazy. You know what I mean? And now he's like, I'm at the place where I don't have to work for nobody ever. I've never had to work and I'll never have to work for anyone. But my friends that were, that were inviting me to party with them all have nine to fives. I'm the only yeah. one that that own his business at this age. And he was like, that's because I didn't go and party. I left school and came home to look for properties every day. I didn't go out to eat. I didn't go to restaurants. I didn't go to parties. I kept as much money as I can because I needed money for down payments. Sacrifice. And those are the sacrifices I think I like, know most people ain't trying to risk. No, they're like, nah, I don't want to have fun. Money. Yeah, <laughs> want to have fun. They don't think life comes as sacrifice. Want to fuck holes every day, and shit. Fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah, I want to go on all these trips and do all these things, and it's like, yeah, man. But like, if you ask the men that are successful now that are a little bit older, the Jeff Bezos and the Elon Musk, like those guys would tell you, like, no, man, I didn't do shit. <laughs> I, I just. Focus on these businesses. I focus on coding. I focus on how do I break into this industries? What are the laws that are preventing me from getting past this shit? And who do I need to hire and what I need to learn to to, to break through these barriers? And and yeah. that's a sacrifice most people will not look, make. They're not I'm, gonna try. I'll make it even sweeter, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say you like going out and partying. Mm-hmm. I'm, I guess, I'm biased because my brother's a DJ, right? Like, right. been partying since I was fucking ten. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, cool. We like to do that. Find a promoter. Find find someone who throws it and be like, "Yo, how can I like help you promote this party?" 
get paid. Right. So when you're there, you're not just there getting yeah. sauced and spending up your bread. Right. Make it a job. Right. And again, that's still another sacrifice because now you got to be there before everybody get there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been in that position where like, imagine being in a bro, club every week mm-hmm. and the girl see you, she like, man, you always here. Like, and I'm just looking at her like, you have no idea. Huh? You just think I'm right. here like you. No, not. Yeah. I'm not. Here. I'm I, brought, I literally brought you here, <laughs> but yeah. It, there is a different side to this game or, you know, um, mm-hmm. what's another thing? You know, people like cars, people like uh, yeah. drinking, you know, there's ways to, you know, maybe go work at a liquor store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I guarantee, bro, I feel like if you work at a liquor store, my homie used to work at a liquor store. Mm-hmm. Just imagine being there and then you leave and then you're like, you always go get drinks. You're like, I just left the liquor store, man. I ain't really, <laughs> you right. ain't gonna really want to be on that, but you, you get what I'm saying. It's just a sacrifice that you got to find or yeah. yeah, even with taking trips, go work at the airport. Yeah. Right. Go right. A, you know what I'm saying? Go work at the airlines, bro. Mm-hmm. It's this there's little ways, right? But to like you said, get a credit card and get a Benz, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. There's people right, out there, right out credit, money, you know. I mean, shit. If you look, I feel like if you could do that with credit, you might as well go buy some property, get some property with the shit. Buy a goddamn house. Make, rent out. At least you making bread off of it. Yeah. Versus the original return, rather rather than paying the credit card back because you burnt the shit out. You know, and, and that's the thing. <laughs> like, try not you know. to live above it. I would say, yeah, live man. live where you're at until you can yeah. be like, you know. And again, and figure we, out. Hey, you about to say it, but you know, we we figured some shit out, and yeah, I think it might I, not I look like it's it. working, but it's working. I was thinking it's about working. this shit recently too, where um. Figure out what your value is on paper. Mm. Right. Um where you know, all right, if you're gonna apply for a job, are right, you doing a nine to five, right? If you're gonna apply for a job, know where you are career wise, experience wise, and um understand like if you know you're a fifty K person right now, don't try to go get a 80, 90K job, you're probably going to get laid off sooner or later because they're going to realize like you're dumbass or no shit. Mm-hmm. You know, um, figure out if you're at 50, you want to be at 80, go get the credentials to be at 80. Don't try to finesse. You know, a lot of people nowadays think they call oh, it just lying, on their resume. Resume. lying on their resume. <laughs> lying on your resume. Yeah. Putting a job that you've never been to, nigga. Like, you know, Nah, just like know what where you are uh money wise on paper. That way you know where you where you need to get to. If you at like I said, you at fifty, you know, okay, in order to get to eighty, I may need one or two certifications. Certifications are online. You can just go yeah. fucking take a test or two and get that shit over with. You know, but you know, know where you are like that. That way you you know what you need to do, man. You know, mm-hmm. that that alleviate the the faking because a lot of faking a lot of pretending motherfuckers these days everybody pretending to be some shit that they ain't and don't got and they ain't really at you know um and it's not doing you no good a lot of y'all do this shit it's not doing you no good you know that shit man you yeah. lay down in your bed knowing that <laughs> even if for example even if you i mean look at hush puppy for for example, right? This uh, you know, online scammer and all this crazy shit, flaunting all this exotic shit in jail, <laughs> right? Um, I mean, granted, I guess he's gonna be back out soon or whatever, but yeah, why, why go through that? Why like why why have to be in uh, under those circumstances, my nigga? Like, granted, you were doing the legal shit the whole time, but like. 
if you weren't flossing and showing the world that you have all these things, no one probably would have gave a shit about you. Yeah, I mean, it is funny, right? Like, bro literally snitched himself out, basically. Literally, bro. <laughs> Nigga handed him, hog tied himself and sat and laid himself on a platter and, and wheeled himself into the fucking kitchen or the or, or the or, or the dining room table of the feds. Like he literally he didn't even, did that. His, he himself. didn't even take his name serious. He didn't even keep the shit on a hush. Like I couldn't believe. Like when I, <laughs> once I realized what happened with him, I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, and come on, he was bro. out here come living, flossing like this, and um, this was all illegal. And you put it on like like I don't get this shit, bro. I don't get these people where. They are like, like, why don't they think the police are watching? Um. So okay. Again, we're still on people living above their means here, but mm-hmm. <laughs> it, there's just this. I mean, I guess the word is dopamine. Is dopamine mm. right? But. Mm. There is, like, for example, I been in love with cars, but I know mm-hmm. a handful of people that don't really know that. Yeah. You would know that, right? Like, my, like you know what I'm saying? Right. But does, does that mean I got to have a Lambo, a Rari outside, Benz mm-hmm. right now? No. Do I right. want those things? Yes. But yeah. when I'm at the means to have them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that gotta nigga, be able to. <laughs> that nigga was literally, let's be honest, never at his means. He just figured out how to get it. Yeah. He was like, I want to show people. I'm going to show people. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show y'all like, whoa, 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 this is what I got. Not realizing that Bro, not even police. The feds are watching you. They're just sitting there like this. Oh, look at this ass. So, okay. <laughs> this, this brings me to another. This, this isn't really switching the topic, but this is just to show yeah. y'all how smart these companies are getting. Target do it. And if I'm snitching mm-hmm. on, I'm not snitching because if you know, you know. But I'm putting y'all on. Target, I, I believe Wawa does it too now. Because you know, mm-hmm. Wawa, you could just go grab your stuff. And if you do self, you can just dip. Yeah. I know yeah. there's some Wawa's in the hood where you can't even go get a cup. You got to go buy the cup first. Yeah. You feel me? So in Target, they're going to let you take shit. Mm-hmm. But everything you take, they're going to they gonna wait because they got to wait legally for it to get to a certain number. Right. And when it get there, the minute you steal that shit and they, they realize, oh, wait, how much? Oh, yeah, it's time. It's time to get it. Time for him. That's how it works. <laughs> so it's oh, like, yeah. even on that level of fam, yeah, we're going to yeah. let you scam, nigga, but you do know it's a number that we're not going to let you cross. The minute exactly. he hit that number, yo, we're here, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come outside, brother. Don't, don't resist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, look, this shit funny right now, but like, really think about this, guys. Like, you mean to tell me you throw millions of dollars? Yeah, hundreds. I think it was like, like he was up a hundred and something million. From what I, from what I heard, <laughs> I, I could be wrong. Um, like, but and that's the thing. Like, you do all that and then think, right? snitch yourself out, right? Like. Bro, and you, and this, I don't understand. I don't understand with these <laughs> these scamming people, bro. Uh, all right, if you're flamboyant enough to broadcast that you have this money, why not try to find a way to legitimize the money? Trucking companies, a lot of dirty <laughs> wash money with trucking companies. Mm-hmm. Try that. You know, uh, real estate sales. Another way a lot of people wash dirty money with. Try that, you know. And granted, those are all paper trails that, you know, 
if they want you, they're gonna get you. Like it's 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 very difficult washing money these days. I'm sure there's a lot of ways to do it. Crypto, I know, is a good way to wash and clean money, but the, you know, by the time you go through those processes, half of that money is gone because you, you, the channels you need to go through and the, the fees and all the things it take to wash it, you're gonna lose a lot of it. Definitely. That's a part of the game. Yeah, yeah, niggas know that. Um, but I think. Why not legitimize this bread, bro? Like bef- before you start said, buying the Rolls Royces. He said, nah. I want it now. Yeah. I, I want it now. now. I want it now. Let me say how much we got in there? 50 mil. Yo, man, where the Lambo uh dealership at? Over there? Bet. Get in the Uber. Let's go. PTA mode. Straight there right now. They you say, oh, give me that one. And 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 matter of fact, you've got a bad attitude. So uh get your boss and then tell your boss I want you fired. And then if he fires you, I take three of them. You know, like these niggas do crazy shit like this. And and it's like you think um no one is gonna notice that. No one's gonna look at this like, hmm, who is this? This is the thing with people too, bro. Like, like especially people like scamming that make a lot of money. <laughs> Like they go into environments and they do things with people who legitimately have earned that money, and they 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 think those people don't look at them like, who are you? Like, what do you do? Yeah. Oh, I, I do some things, and they'd be like, you do some things. Oh yeah, you, and then you ask that person like, you you're gonna you stand, stand out. out. Like, what do you what do you do, nigga? Like, I own uh, uh thirty restaurants across the world, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> but what you do? Mm-hmm. Cause you here too. So what you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, you you You're don't like, really uh, have a. I invest in shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you probably right. some right. shit. Now you got shit. a lot. Like, now you got a lot, right? Like, what's the, what's the shit? <laughs> Look, I'm a what get, is I'm, the shit? I'm gonna get niggas some game, bro. I'm 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 gonna ask the question first. You can tell me, but like, why yeah. do niggas think they got a lot of rich niggas and niggas that's like wealthy. Why do niggas think they could go lie bro. to them? <laughs> this is my well, why, bro, this I mean, is that's why. the same question, right? Like, why do they do it? It's the same yeah. thing. Like, why are you lying to a nigga with it that worked hard? That that guy You got think it. he can't see that you're clearly up to something here? You're full of shit. Uh, no. <laughs> this is my, one of my sayings, it. bro. Don't do it. Adults cannot fool adults. I I, I you know. I think we I mean we we might have said this couple episodes ago. I think I said it like, the, the Denzel quote. You can't bullshit yeah, a bullshitter, bro. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. Like, not because I nod my head mm-hmm. like I agree, or I, or I just say, hmm, or oh, okay. I don't fucking believe it. I don't oh. agree either, nigga. I just want <laughs> you to stop talking to me about this bullshit. You know, and that's the thing. Like, I think people take those type of things as Oh, they believe my nonsense. Like, nah, bro. They just now they just got you on their radar. They're just watching oh, yeah. you now. Oh, yeah. And they're gonna stay away from you and exactly. they ain't gonna get in bed with you. They do no business because they know um I just invest in shit is not a real business plan. And that's that that don't give you a hundred million dollars just investing in shit. What the fuck? Come on, bro. Like that's the dumbest shit to say. Like anybody that that's worked hard and made their money can directly tell you where they made it from. Like yeah, bro. Quick. I um, I bought fifteen Wawas with with a group of five guys, and we started with one, and now we have fifteen. This is yep. why I have thirty million dollars, yep. right? And a lot of these guys don't have those. Even recently, have you heard of Jay Morrison? I think we I might have brought it up to you. Go um, to Google right now. Yeah, Jay Morrison is this real estate investor from atlanta i'm not surprised he's from atlanta not to say all people from atlanta are some scammers but yeah niggas be on some shit um Hmm. but he went to prison i think for like scamming like like you know frauding people out of money in the real estate market became free and now he's back in hot water again for lying about you know his investments and how he's you know taking money from people and not being able to return it hmm. and and these are these are the people we're talking about right 
the, the, the living beyond the means and living these facades like my nigga like why why take the money from 30 different families put those people in despair financially because you want to uphold an image my nigga you destroyed so you destroyed so many lives just for you to appear a certain way like, like if, you, if if you don't got the skills to, to to necessarily bring in the money just say you know what guys thought i was gonna be able to do this shit man but it's not working out man i'm sorry you know what i mean i i i Maybe I'll, I'll I'll reach out to you guys a little bit later, but I got to give you this money back. I can't mm-hmm. do it right now. I cannot accomplish what I told you I was going to do. People rather take their money back and and be like, you know what? At least he tried, rather than say this piece of shit took my bread and he failed and he's fucking ducking me. You know, and and, and I don't know why these these guys go those routes, bro. I mean, they rather go to bed, go to court and fight these litigations and. And 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 still come out and say well, I wasn't doing any wrong, man. You know it's a misunderstanding, nah, my nigga. Because those thirty families are going through it right now. That hundred and fifty k that man saved up for thirty years and gave to you, bro. Now now his kids is looking at him like that. I thought we was gonna go to Disney World, and it's like can't even fucking you know. I thought this investment was gonna come back. I'm telling you, like can't do that there's there's too many little angles we could talk about with that but Mm -hmm. it's like Mm -hmm. obviously there's a pattern where people are willing to they're willing to do the work yeah yeah it's like the risk is still wrong you know what i'm saying it's like yeah like (laughs) I, i could understand if he was saying all right, let me get, I don't know, nigga, 50K from everybody to start this yeah. agency or firm or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. get this one property. And once this makes money, I'll start paying. I don't, you know what I'm just saying? I'm like, you don't got to go to this crazy scam around uh, mm-hmm. making yourself look like this was your property. And, and don't get me wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, the internet is crazy, right? Like, you you, you can learn the easiest, craziest things. But mm-hmm. it's like the same way these people would lie about these shits, these things. Mm-hmm. People don't believe some of the shit you could do to make money, too, right? Like, the yes. fact that you can go on Zillow, find a crib, make your own mm-hmm. page, and actually sell it mm-hmm. is crazy. Mm-hmm. Now, again, this isn't my space, right? So I'm not, we we talk about real estate and shit, but I'm not in that space yet to be Mm -hmm. like, oh, I want to dive deep. Because that's another thing. Obviously, I'm like that. You're like that, where it's like, all right, if I'm getting into Mm -hmm. something, I got to be all in on it. Right. I got to know what this shit is about. Yeah, I'm not going to (laughs) just be trying to do shit and no, because that's how you fuck yourself up. But again, everybody's different, right? Some people do shit yeah. randomly and it just works. Mm-hmm. But which is, you know, <laughs> which is good and not good too, though. Exactly. Right? Because you know, it's still a risk, though. It's still a risk. I right? remember I remember when I first started trading, right? And I really wasn't knowledge well, I was knowledgeable at all about like what the fuck is going on. I was just buying shit and making a lot of money. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, word. <laughs> you just go throw money on some shit and you get this back all the time? Oh, shit. Okay. And I kept going. I kept going. So I realized like, oh, fuck, bro. I put up $2,000. I make $10,000. The next day, I put up $5,000, but I lose $8,000. It's like, what? What happened? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, nigga, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. <clears throat> I'm going to show you. You don't know <laughs> what you're doing. You got cocky. And the market said, okay, thank you got your dumbass. You know, <laughs> go learn. Exactly. Thank you so much. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> you know, let me give us more. And until I realized that, oh shit, you have to learn how to read candlesticks. You have to follow the news. You have to trade at a certain time. There's certain days that you just don't trade, yeah. you know, and there's certain 
you have to set limits. Like if you're going to set, I'm going to lose a hundred dollars a day. If you lose a hundred dollars, you, you sell whatever trade you're in and keep it pushing. You don't go back for revenge, you know, mm -hmm. and you learn those things as you go and you become better at that craft and that luck is going to run out. Like I, you're not going to be lucky forever. Like mm -hmm. it, it, there's nobody that's going through life where everything just worked out for them. Mm -mm. Uh, show me that motherfucker and i'll be like shit nigga I, I'll, <laughs> I'll live with you then i'll just i'll just tie my arm to yours and wherever <laughs> you go i go because that, that shit don't happen Basically. um but it's yeah you know luck is cool to have but i think understanding what you're doing mastering your shit is better than than just rolling the fucking dice man too many yeah. dice rollers these days they're gambling and they they gambling with life too, it, right? It, Imagine it, that, right? Don't get me wrong. It seems like gambling, but even mm -hmm. after watching you for a few days, like mm -hmm. I mean, it's yeah, a, you gotta I get it. It's a gamble, doing, but you gotta know, like yeah. Today I might be lucky, but tomorrow might not be so lucky. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be willing you to gotta... take that L as 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 well take, as the w, exactly. You know, so yeah, but it's gonna happen, you know, bro. Gambling is a whole different. Game, but just just roll into dice right these people <laughs> i think people are rolling the dice with life these days bro and basically. and for nothing basically for nothing you know like not necessarily um and, and, and you know what's funny happiness has become second to money these days right like yeah it's, w w with women especially right um, i've noticed that where women are more content with um, being in an environment where money is, is in abundance rather than being in, in an environment where, where peace, happiness, and peace, happiness, yeah. you know what I mean? Definitely. You're like, yo, as, as long as I'm around niggas throwing money and spending money, I'm good. Even if that nigga caught me a bitch, fuck it. Uh, I'm, I'm a bitch drinking um, Don Perignon or whatever the fuck they mm -hmm. drink these days, right? You know, mm -hmm. like what, what Meek Mills say, I think, or, 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 or a future, uh, you you rather cry in a Honda or cry in a Phantom? They're like, yeah, I'd rather cry in a Phantom. Like, bitch, you sh what, what do you want to be crying for in the first place? Exactly. Why don't you just go to a place where tears don't happen? You know, and, bro, and that's man. the thing, bro. Like, crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, you know? And, and that's the beyond, the, you know, all those things goes back into the topic of living beyond your means. Living beyond your means isn't just money. Mm -mm. That's that's just the easiest way to your own to happiness, it. your own health. There's so much means you're living There's beyond. Levels. There's levels, you know, health, you know, uh, uh, yeah, drink like you're drinking every day, smoking every day, doing a bunch of drugs every day. It's like that, you're, kind of, you're living beyond your means. <laughs> like, you're like, you're doing more than your body can handle. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. You are living beyond your means. It's crazy, you're right? Yourself like Me this. and my brother was just kind of like. We was like small, like talk about it in a smaller way, but it's like, yeah. People forget, like, bro, you, you have a body. This is your only body right now. The only one, yeah. So period. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, if if you're living above your means, you're basically telling your body, like, I got this, mm -hmm. and your body's gonna be like. Oh, you got this? So I don't got to work no more? Bet. Right. You got this. Bet. You handle it. All of a sudden, you start feeling shitty. You start feeling mm -hmm. depressed. You start feeling and so forth, sad. And mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Your own fucking pudding. Bro, I literally put a post up today on TikTok yeah. about... I, I just kept seeing people talking about men this women this and um i'm what, what when am i gonna get my person and, woo, woo, woo. and i'm just like yeah oh, when am i gonna get love and i'm like if you're if something inside of you is telling you love and this and whatever that's not for you to go seek out from somebody else right asking for love from you i literally said this to him right. love yeah. yourself first bro Mm -hmm. You can't just go find mm -hmm. a man and think that man's gonna love you the way you imagine it in your fucking head. That shit don't make right. sense. It don't How make does sense. he know that's the way you want to be loved? He's just and supposed again, to magically do it, right? Fantasy shit. 
that's also living above your own means in your relationship. Exactly. Like, this shit is, you feel me? We could go down a whole yeah. scenario path of just being above it. But it's like, guys, just because Beyonce, like, don't, 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 don't try right. to compare. Or, don't do that. <laughs> You're already we going on live the wrong, Beyonce's life. You're already going on the wrong path. Like, oh, my God, like this, that. Stop. Just stop. You're playing yourself from the gym. It is even, you know, people going to do what they want to do. But even, even celebrities on a lower level, right? Like, uh, because I mean, Beyonce is Michael Jackson, technically, right? In in a sense of stardom. And even, even a a money bag, yo, right? Even someone like that is still like, an anomaly. He he is a special person in the world of entertainment and, and, and urban culture. It's, it's only one money bag, yo. You know, there's only <laughs> one of these people that we look at. You, you're not going to be uh, one money bag, yo, and then a second, third money bag, yo, and you you know you're going to be one or the second or the third money bag, yo, type of guy. No, there's one money bag, yo, just him. You know, and. I think that's the thing, bro. People <laughs> just, just like throw away their own aspirations to adapt the aspirations or the achievements of someone else. Like a nigga look at, I'll use a money bag for this one as well, where somebody like from the hood and they're like, man, that nigga got him a bad bitch. The nigga got mad money. He's always grills in his mouth, flossing money. That nigga living the life. But nigga, is that the life you want? Or is that the life he wanted? Facts. Right? And they go burn out themselves living beyond their means to be on a level with a nigga that's living a life you probably didn't even want any goddamn ways. It just looked cool enough Mm -hmm. and and you're so impressionable that you just get warped into this place of, of trying to obtain it. And it's like, bro, you just spent $30,000 buying chains, grills, and jewelry to look like a rapper, my nigga. But you're still renting from another uh, somebody. Mm-hmm. That's probably another race. Another race. You might mm-hmm. be renting from a white person, an Indian person, a Middle Eastern, whoever. Right? You're renting from somebody that's probably not your race. Yeah. Um. You, you're working for somebody because you ain't no businessman. You ain't owning your own business. Mm-hmm. And you, you know you have all these other things. That you have to do because your dumb ass just wrapped your mind around money bag, yo, look lit. I got to look lit too. But it's mm-hmm. like, you know, what do you want for your life though? Like, this is what it, what you want to be because that nigga rapper, nigga, you ain't no rapper. He's living his, his, his dream. What is yours? It can't be his, my nigga. Because yeah. if it was his, you wouldn't be doing a nine to five. Your ass would be recording music on tour every day. And if you're not on tour, if you're not doing that, you ain't that nigga, bro. So don't go buy jewelry to look like the motherfucker because y'all niggas ain't doing or playing the same game. Yeah, that's... You know, that's... Just, people get lost, bro. Again, that's what it is. I, I think... And I, I know, like, people are probably thinking right now, like, what are they talking about, bro? Like... If I want to live like money bag, yo, if I want to live a rapper life, I could do that. You can, but All right. you're, you're going to be trying to do that. Right. You don't know what money. It'll cost did. you a lot more money that it's costing him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he did to get to where he is. You don't know how hard yeah. he worked. You never seen him working at it. And those yeah. who did, right. they probably could speak on that, but yeah. Then again, it's like, first of all, my thing is this, 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 the same question is, how do you know that's the life you want? Is it because it looks good? Right. Right. Is it because- What is the barometer? What is the- And again, I'm sure most, they can't really answer that. And if you can, answer it in the comments. Put it in the comments, bro. Yeah. 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 If, If you can really answer that shit, you know what I mean? And again- for people that <clears throat> I would say that kind of want clarity on anything like that, this is kind of mm-hmm. where I would say the Discord will come in hand 
real, real yeah. good. We'll link it in the in the description and shit. But mm-hmm. put your little comments, little questions, concerns, and or ideas that man, I want to do this, man. How can I? Woo, woo, woo. We'll do our best to help mm-hmm. you somehow get there, or maybe lead you on yeah. a path. at least start yeah. you on, on a path. But just like he said, if your number is fifty k, yeah. Stick with the fifty k. <laughs> Feel me? If you, get, if, nigga, if you get to fifty five, cool. Sixty, yeah. cool. But don't try to go to eighty, ninety, a hundred. You ain't do the work. You have no credentials. Being that's just a thing, too, bro. Like you just, <laughs> you just said something that reminded me some shit. And and I blame celebrities for this too, though. They they're the they're they're the ones who cause this problem. Hmm. They would bring somebody. Like it'll be a room full of celebrities, right? People who have worked to be there, but then they'll bring people in the room who did nothing to be there. Mm. So now that person that's in that room who did nothing to be there, think that they're on those level like the people who put in the work. They feel like, oh, I, I, I put in work. That's why I'm here. <laughs> it's like, nah, my nigga, you mm. got invited here as a as a, as a plus mm. one. You, you, mm. you, okay, you're not even of this cloth. You're just in this fucking room, and you should have just you should have just come in here, observe it, take it in, and go back home and work at leveling up to this level. But instead of that, you came into this room, and now you go out in the world acting like you're on our level. But this is what happens to everyone: the world will humble you, the world will show you that you're not what you think you are, mm-hmm. especially if you ain't put in the work. Because a nigga, no, bro, like. Uh, a man in the military knows a soldier who has been to war and put in his work. When you see him and he knows a nigga who's fresh, mm-hmm. he can say like, uh, nah, man, you, how many tours you did? I did eight tours. You did eight tours. Hmm. You don't got no wounds on your body. With a you nice know, This is an actual thing. Wounds. I don't know if Mustard you know gas wounds. This is an actual thing where people would go get a uniform and Go to places mm-hmm. for free, try to get free food, and I've served yeah. this. And there's been videos of someone yeah. saying, "What tour were you? With? Who are you with?" And nigga can't answer. Right. You can't you know, answer you're those just questions. Just being somebody that you you find at a thrift store. This is your whole fit, no, nigga. And again, that's another scamming ass shit. <laughs> 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 Niggas is crazy, bro. I'm not gonna cap. I literally <laughs> seen a video where this dude prep, bro. He was pressing this boy, young dude. Yeah. You ain't, served. Mm-hmm. you ain't served shit. Look at your hands. He, he was he was going. He, he right. literally scanned his whole body. And the nigga just kept pushing it along. Like I did this. I served my country. You should be thanking me. Yeah. Just like no, nigga. I think, bro. First of all, yeah. you're talking, he's talking to a veteran, right? Like someone who's been. You can't tell no knows war. Yeah, bro. You can't. <laughs> you can't do that, bro. That's the thing, man. But I think it is crazy to 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 see that though that people are willing to lie about to lie to those levels, bro. Because you know, I think people really believe in um, faking it till you make it. I think they took that. I uh, they took it too uh, far, bro. Verbiage, literally, right? And and that's not what it means. It means that okay. Get in the door, but that don't mean you get in the door and act like you got the, the skills. You get in the door so that you can learn the layer of the land. You're there already. So you can you get into that room and you're like, okay, the couch is over here. The TV's over there. So now if you go into another room that's similar, they ask you, oh, man, what was in the last room? Oh, now the couch was on the left. The TV was on the right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how it is. So you definitely been there. Mm-hmm. You, you get your respect because you did it. Mm-hmm. You know, people never been into the rooms and they're like, the nigga asked them, yo, what's in the room? It's a bunch of shit in the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. what? No, nah, nigga. You know, what's crazy. in the room? What's on the left? It's crazy, but like, and again, I, I'm learning as we go through these episodes. Like, yeah. Right now, I'm sure somebody's like, what room? <laughs> what room was yeah. he talking about? The room, like first of all, like for for me, I've been in a lot of rooms. Yeah, where it's like I'm a fly on the wall. 
Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. who I'm with. I know why I'm here. Mm-hmm. If I'm asked to speak in a sense of like, yo, who are you? What you do? Woo, 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 I, I'll do that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just a fly on the wall in this moment. I'm not here to, this is not my setting, essentially, but I'm right. learning. Right. I'm learning the mm-hmm. room. I'm learning who's in it. I'm learning how to speak, how to, you know, how to maneuver. Mm-hmm. But these rooms ain't, bro, I'm going to make a joke. But these ain't the Diddy rooms we talking about. These are just rooms where you're going to hear and see things that you're not ever going to see outside of that room. Right. Essentially. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like being in a room and you just, like, first of all, I've been in rooms chilling. <clears throat> or stu- or it could be a studio. I could dumb mm-hmm. it down and say a studio. you just sitting in a studio with your homie and a big artist. The next mm-hmm. thing you know, you're just sitting there and fucking Lil Wayne walking there. And you're like, you got to know if Wayne mm-hmm. is comfortable to walk in there, you ain't going to geek out. Right. You wouldn't be in that right. room if you was, if you was going to geek out type shit. Yeah. So it's kind of the same concept. And if you right? do, them niggas ain't going to put you, in, you ain't getting into to another room. You're like done. <laughs> You're done. You know what I mean? You're done. That's the Keep thing with cool people. and learn, you know? man. You, know? you never know. It's the experience, you know? The right. lack of experience, and no one's looking down on people who lack experience. But don't be a person that's lacking experience, acting like you got all the experience. My yeah, nigga. that's, that's the, the thing with these people. That's the worst. The niggas that that uh that are acting like they got all the money, they really did the wrong things to 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 hit a couple licks. But you're not a high earner. You just got lucky scamming, doing some bullshit. You're not legitimately that person. You're not the man. So don't, you know, I'm sick of talking to people who, who do bullshit, got lucky, or finesse their way into getting a little bit. And um, I'm supposed to look at you like you go back to, that's why I use the army reference. Like you went to to, to five different militaries and, and do all this war. And I'm like, nigga, this, this, niggas, niggas raising their sleeves up like, yo, this mark is from Vietnam. This mark is from Afghanistan. This slice here is from Vietnam again. And it's like, yeah, bro, this motherfucker was there. Mm-hmm. And then the next nigga is like, yo, wait, where your marks at? I was lucky, man. I always, nah. I always, I always <laughs> escaped Hell. without injury. Hell. Like, what? Hell. Like, nigga, I don't know any veteran that escaped without injury. Nigga, what fuck are you talking about? Even what, if it's you for into, you know, it's, there's just too much, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing with these people, you know, and I, I know, you know, sometimes we get it, we go into a little bit deep and we we use references that sometimes are tough to follow. But, man, if you can't follow it, then you too, my friend, are not there. And that's fine. It's OK. You'll catch up. You'll you know, catch up. Take a couple of days. Come back. Watch it again. Watch it again. Type because shit. it's going to be a time in life where where you encounter these environments and you like oh that's what they was talking about that is the inexperience they're, they're talking about that is the unfamiliarity that these people don't have that i have i'm familiar but nigga i know you're not familiar so, i can tell you green so i guess to kind of close that yeah i'll give them a room where mm-hmm. i mean if you know you could have been in that room Right. Mm -hmm. But this is in Vegas. Right. This is an Mm -hmm. Adidas party. This is like an official Mm -hmm. Adidas party. So like all the owners, big Adidas people is there chilling, drinking, Mm -hmm. having a great time. And uh, we're there. Shout out, Terry. Okay, shout out, Terry. Um, We're there and. Cool. Get in. Take the I can show you. I'm, I'm gonna show real proof. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's show some mm-hmm. real proof here. Okay. So like, we get in. Mm-hmm. Bam. Okay. See the date. See the mm-hmm. sign. Okay. So this is mm-hmm. this. Is, my brother got one too. We get get the pick. Take a couple picks. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, come on, gotta go get your shoes. I can show you the shoes too. Got some sambas. I st- bro, I still haven't. I still haven't worn. Oh shit. Okay. Just to help y'all understand, I still these shits is still brand. That, that's the Bob Marley son. 
The Bob Marley. Brand fucking new, right? Mm-hmm. So we in there, get the shoes, uh, talking to some of the people. Full camera crew. Mm-hmm. Full camera crew. And <clears throat> so, you know, now we got our shoes and shit. And I noticed there was a balcony that's looking at the sphere. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to go out there, but I'm like, it's type cold, man. (laughs) I forgot what happened. I I think we was just waiting to leave at this point. Mm -hmm. And I see a group of people come out the balcony. I'm like, I see a chick. I'm like, why she looks so familiar, bro? I'm like, you know, I'm I'm just so... Mm -hmm. Wow, she looks so familiar. And mind you, she's looking directly at me and my brother. She was looking mm-hmm. up. She, we had on Croc. She like, I could tell she was just like, who are they? You know, same, same shit, same yeah. way we felt. And it, it wasn't until they was walking out, walking. I'm like, that's Glorilla. Uh, you know? That's crazy. Shout out Glorilla. Okay. But yeah. again, imagine now, I don't know how to act in that type of setting. Glorilla, mm-hmm. bro, let me get a pit. Like, you can't do that in that type of setting. Yeah. Bro. Everybody's cool and calm and collect. Football plays right. is in there. Basketball plays is in there. Mm-hmm. My, the fucking staff were all models. Yeah. So it's like, if you can't handle shit like that, maybe you're not ready. <laughs> right. Yeah, maybe you you're need not some ready. more experience. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, these rooms are not, they're not like, Illuminati rooms, bro. They're just right. First of all, if you've been in my crib or in Fraser's crib, you've been in a room where it's like, mm. damn, that nigga's talking about some yeah. shit here, man. I mean, yeah. technically, <laughs> technically, y'all in both our rooms right now, essentially, right? Right. So it should it should make you feel a way because it's like again, we talking about shit that's like, what are y'all really talking about? But again, we know exactly mm-hmm. what we're talking about. And I know a handful of people that also know what I'm talking about. So right. you just got to right. find, like he said, find your number and yeah. stick to it until you can advance from it. Yeah. Realistic. Yeah. Don't skip it. Don't skip. Don't, no, there's no. Don't try to go from there's no sk- <laughs> McDonald's to, to it. I work. I work at Corp at fucking Apple. Or Google, like, yeah, you know, don't do that. There's no way you don't you don't have the credentials gradually, to be in those environments. Gradually work your way. You, you have to build up, man. You have to okay. build up. Like, um, it's 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 funny, man, because uh, and I, we could wrap it up here with this topic, but like, it's funny, like, and, and going back, like I said, I, I always reference trading because it's kind of like like the, the thing that I do now the most. Um, it. Before, I couldn't really like talk to people too much about trading because I didn't fully understand it to explain it. It's a fact. You know, I remember. Um, and I think I, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I you use that as a um, as a barometer of like, okay, have you advanced yet? You know, they, they always say if you can explain something to somebody and they can understand it and learn from how you explain it then that means you you know it you know it well enough to teach somebody so you, definitely at that point you, you're at a level where you, you're possibly mastered um that skill or whatever it is definitely. and i think a lot of people need to actually get to the point where they can do that rather than just like finessing um and saying a bunch of bullshit because the person that you're telling that to that is experienced know you're talking bullshit Mm-hmm. And they're just gonna yes you and and cut the short shit short and keep it pushing. And you'll wonder why you're getting rejected and people ain't fucking with you. It's because they read through you. They knew oh, yeah. you were full of shit. Oh yeah. You know, if you if you find yourself getting rejected, um, it's it's not it's not because that they don't like you. They just know you ain't there yet. You they're not on the same level as them, and they don't need to waste their time. Yeah, so you know. Before I got on here, I had some Chinese food job boys. And mm-hmm. I had a fortune cookie. I don't think, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. 
Yeah, yeah. I think it says uh, a brave person is the one who is not afraid to admit their what mistake. is that last word? Mistake. Okay. Which is which is deep. Can't can't make this shit up. This was today. All right. Right. Um. <laughs> right in line with the right in line with this topic as well. Right in line with this topic as well. It's okay People, to be like, yo, I don't know what I'm doing. Help. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Like, <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Feel me? Just out. That for me is like, you know, it's the brave ones that usually succeed the most. Always, always, bro. And, and the people that are honest too, bro. Um, and this is the thing. This is the thing. This is another thing too. Before we we switch to the next one. Um, not every time that you're honest mm. means you're gonna get the results you want. More than most, yo. You know what I mean? You could tell somebody. <laughs> like, like, you, the same example you said yeah. too, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. You can tell somebody, somebody be like, man, do you know how to paint? And you're like, uh, no, nah, I don't know how to paint. And that person be like, all right, well, I can't have you here. So you got to leave. Yeah. Right. And, and nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. That's just another sign of you're not there yet. Mm-hmm. Go learn how to paint and mm-hmm. come back to that person like, hey, man, I know how to paint now. And you know what? How crazy life is. That motherfucker be like, uh, we don't need a painter right now. Right. And depending on how important becoming a painter is to you, that could crush you're you. You're gonna find another that can crush you, or you <laughs> find another time to come yeah. back again and say, yo, man, next time you come back, you come with a fucking piece of wood that you painted some shit. He's like, yo, I painted this yesterday. Am I good enough now? And you look at it like, oh shit, that looks pretty good. You know what? Paint that wall over there. Mm-hmm. Boom! You're in the door. Yes, because you you got the skills. They they've approved you. He see that you re, you're resilient. You went and you started off with not knowing. You, you went and learned it, but it wasn't the right time. You yeah. came back and show and prove, and now it's like here's your opportunity. Yeah. That's how it should go. It's not you just go and you just talk some garbage and somebody like oh my god man, you wowed me so much. I'm gonna not pay you. Hundred and seventy five thousand dollars to be a coder because you told me about some shit you fucking saw on, <laughs> on YouTube. Like, no, that's not real. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not real, man. It's not, it's not real. Me. So put in the work. Literally. Put in the work. Don't live beyond beyond your means. And that's yeah. just not just money. That's with everything else that we just explained for the last hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Basically. Like Well, yeah, put some comments in there, you know? Let us know what y'all think of this shit. You yeah. know, we 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 kind of dug into that topic real real nice for you yeah, guys. Yeah, we so here for that. Let us know what you think of it. Um it's funny, man. We got some we got a couple of topics, I think. Uh that's people above their means. Uh, this is funny. It's not on the um on the list of topics, but I had another one I wanted to, to we, we, we can we can do it. Mm-hmm. Um did you did you hear the new reference track? That came out with Drake. Mm-mm. So, all right. So this topic, guys, is uh more Drake. Is this Drake's downfall right mm. now? Is is this is the end of Drake right now? Right. So, two days ago, or uh, maybe sometime around there, a reference track with Bory came out. Actually, let's pull it up. Now Might as well. Came. Yeah, I just realized. You can actually hear in Vori. Once I hear Vori, oh, I already know where it's going. Oh man. Shout out to Vori though. Vori be snapping. This was a reference track for uh, for Mob Ties. And I really wasn't too fond of that record, but I I, I know the song. So this this is a reference track right here from Vori. Say it. Yeah, 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 yeah
I turn out the bitch. I turn out the bridge. It is what it is, yo. Black push, cause that Lambo moving fast. Watch your homie if he moving on his ass. In the rocket, and that bitch ain't got no tax. Louis bags in exchange for body packs, yo. I'm sick of these niggas, hey. I'm sick of these bitches, huh? Sire shooter, huh? Huh? Really these bitches, huh? Fuck with them hoods, hey. It is what it is, yeah. You know what the shit's. It is what it is, no, so time. Yeah. I fuck with a mob and I got ties. Yeah. They'll knock you off and pay their ties. Yeah. They want me going, but don't know why. Don't know why. Yeah. It's too late for all that hubby dub shit. Don't trust that you my brother shit. Too late. I'm done giving it. That's why I made myself a man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late for all that. Huh? Too late. Yeah. I'm not with a rah rah. Yeah, I'm fucking a dollar. Uh, uh, I got a dollar. Done dollar. Sound in the side of the Shout on the head like bottom. Shot, shot. I'm sick of these niggas. Hey, I'm sick of these bitches. Huh, huh. Sire shooter. Huh, huh. Get rid of these bitches. I'm sick of these niggas. Hey, I'm sick of these bitches. Huh, huh. I hire a shooter. Huh, huh. Get rid of these bitches. Fuck. Too late. Yeah. Yeah. Red beam on his mouth. Look like he been drinking Kool Aid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Told her if she slept up on me, baby girl, now it's too late. I told her if she slept up on me, baby girl, now it's too late. Yeah. It's too late, too late, too late. No. Crazy. Now, it's the thing like pretty much the record that Drake did. <laughs> I mean, he pretty much took the whole thing, man. Right? He, <clears throat> I mean, he didn't change much, and. It's it's adding to that. Like I think shit like this this is destroying Drake's legacy. If his the legacy isn't destroyed already, hmm. in the sense of he's you know he's an artist. He has the numbers, you know. Um, but people, I think people would be forgetting that when it comes to hip hop, it's not about the numbers. It's about your legacy. <clears throat> like you can sell all the records in the world uh it doesn't make no like eminem sold more records than most black artists mm -hmm. eminem will never be more important to hip-hop than us and it doesn't knows matter that. how many acts and he eminem, knows, he knows. right and it's that's not even a shot because eminem that's just right what it's about it's just what it is you know i think with drake you know, what we say a la last name ever, first name greatest. Um, I always think when once it started happening, I started thinking thinking of that line a lot more. Like, okay, he said he's gonna be the greatest ever, but when when these records are coming out, then it's like, bro, like these whole styles, these whole ideas of these records are not yours. Like these literally of the minds of other men that you just are rapping. Uh, it's hard to call yourself this greatest just because you sell the most it doesn't matter elvis presley sold the most elvis presley is not more important than rick james to 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 to, to um, fucking music bro like people revere rick james more than they revere elvis presley mm -hmm. like you hear people talk about rick more than they speak about elvis but elvis sells more right yeah. money wise but it's thinking about no damn money man you know i think that's where I think an artist like Drake is in that space where his <clears throat> accolades is financials, not 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 um legacy in the sense of respect and and like yeah, that is the man. I think that title has been stripped away. Yeah, uh I've been seeing it too. I ain't gonna front. I haven't heard that, but I've been mm -hmm. seeing people kind of saying it like, is this is this that is that downfall moment? Is this that, you know, moment for him? Yeah. Or it's hard to tell, man. I mean, look. Okay. If, because I feel like his downfall will be different only mm. because, for example, like to the Drake fans, they really believe his records, right? But yeah. we, like us as music people who understand music, it's more like, mm -hmm. did he write this? It's, yeah, you know, man. Uh, Especially when it's coming out like this, it, you know what I mean? You know, is is this is this off the dome? He freestyled this, you know what I'm saying? And right. then you think about Wayne, whose camp he's from, right. who 
mm-hmm. probably never really wrote a song ever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ever. Like, yeah. I, like again, to, to be in a room and watch mm-hmm. someone like Wayne record is crazy. Because in your mind, mm-hmm. you thinking he over here like, you got some paper? No. Right. Mike, sit, smoke, drink. Yep. Go. He just go. Hove, mm-hmm. same thing. Right? So mm-hmm. I think all this, I'm not going to say it's his downfall. I just think it's showing people the truth. Yeah. Yeah. We, I, we I mean, spoke about does it, too. it? This is just that year, bro. A lot of truth. Gonna of get, truth. Yeah. A lot of truth going to get exposed this year. And so I think, I think Cat Williams was in line. <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing, man. I two, feel two, like four, bro. Like two plus two is four. Four, four. like it, it's a number thing that. Yeah, again, this has been going on forever. It mm-hmm. just, it's just, mm-hmm. it's just how the world is. It, there's nothing we could do about yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, uh, I think it's definitely. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's his downfall. I'm gonna say it's more of a wake mm-hmm. up for people to realize, like. Just imagine all them niggas that's Drake, man, fuck K Dot ain't win. Drake, 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 Drake. Imagine how they feel now. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. That's that's the thing. Was, I'm I wondering. Was these niggas with him and he ain't even write it. And he, <laughs> you know you what, what I mean? Like, it, it's kind of wild, you, bro. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. The nigga to say that, you know. <laughs> uh, like when you hear a nigga like DMX. I'm saying I'm sitting, I'm falling, I can't get up. I believe that nigga was really going through it. Right he was, and we know that. We, and we know the nigga. Right. That was pain. imagine that was pain, bro. If, imagine if somebody came and say, Yo, man, I wrote that. I wrote slipping. I will be devastated. Like, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will be like, devastated. What? So dear wasn't slipping and falling. And that nigga. He could right. He was. So he could get up. Oh my god! I'll he be could so get up. Hurt, bro. I'll be that so motherfucker. <laughs> you know. I would be so, so hurt. I think that's what. But <laughs> I think Drake's legacy, you know, um, it might have got tainted. I'll say. I'll take that. I'll say. Yeah, that man. A tainted. I, I think, like I said, numbers wise, numbers are numbers, right? That's for billboard and number keepers Mm -hmm. but when it hip-hop is about respect how much do this culture respect you and what you do and i think that has been stripped away from him Mm. i don't think drake has a respect of his peers anymore as this hit maker this truth teller that he appeared to be because you know this music came off like this is coming from you. Yes. But when an, another nigga is the verses, the, the the whole fucking song is somebody else. It's like, all right, man. So who are you now? Because if this is Vori, who is Drake? Yeah, listen. You know, all, um, again, shout out to Vori because he a beast. Yeah, that's out. crazy. Vori's a that shit beast. is hard. I, that shit sounds good, man. I mean, and Vori does a lot of shit. Just. Just so people know, and I hope they know that now that yeah. there's a lot of hit records that's Vori, but yeah, 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 yeah. it is what it yeah, is. Like he tough, said, man. nigga. Right, right. <laughs> it is what it is, nigga. You know, I, I mean, I think if he might not want, he might not do this, but you know, if Drake came mm-hmm. out and was like, "Yo, look, Kendrick whooped my ass." And mm. he got to do like a, a apology or something. He got to do something. He got to do something. I, yo, I have a feeling Drake is going to try to like, um, he's going to drop a song. He's going to try to make sure you drop a hit for this summer. Oh, by but, him. like I said, I. You think Drake will start making beats? <laughs> that motherfucker better do something. <laughs> Nigga better like. I mean, like I said, I expect a hit from Drake coming, right? I think a hit is going to come. Summertime coming. Like I said, but I just know that, you know, um, outside of the people who want to dance, have fun, and feel good, hip hop is a little bit deeper than that. You know, um, that's a part of it too. But when we're when we're thinking about 
the the uh, the big three that they're talking about. You know, the big three they're talking about isn't just numbers. We're talking about the best. Like, and I, granted, I don't think Drake. That's the thing. I don't think Drake is not the best. I do think he is up there. He deserves this spot up there. But the more I hear these songs, I'm confused about, yo, okay, if these are the men that are writing the words and the concepts and the feelings that you claim you invoke on these records, who are you truly? Exactly. You know, who am I listening to when I hear you? Am I listening to Party Next Door's feelings, Vori's feelings, or am I, it's just Drake's feelings? Who am I hearing right now? You know, you're not going to um, be wrong, right? Like, I think, I mean, it's a business, right? So let's just say Vori wrote it. Not even let's just say, but let's just say in a new scenario, Vori writes this record. <clears throat> like, how does that, is it a thing of now Drake got to like, oh, you know, in his music video written by. Yeah, it, 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 and, see, and again, but, let me see, ask you this: is, is that an ego thing? Yeah, is that an ego thing? <laughs> to is that put a, that in there in the video? No, just period. Like, oh man, this shit went number one. Yo, first of all, shout out Vori, man. He wrote this shit. Is is it an ego thing? Well, I or I don't Vori, see that being a problem though. Vori care. I mean, I mean, no, but even I'm if just, he did that. Right, like I don't see that being a problem, bro. I, I feel like me just the way you said it, right? Me either. If Drake came on and say, "Yo, shout out to my nigga Vori, man. He gave me a banger right here, bro. You wrote, yeah, we, you wrote half of this shit, and I just came in and body the other half. But like, we we made a good record together. I think if you said it that way, it would be more like no one would care because no one gives a fuck. Like people just like to enjoy Drake's music, but. You, you can't go around saying last name ever, first name greatest, and it's like, come on, bro. All your songs are written by somebody else. It's like Tough. you cannot hold that title. Tough. You cannot hold that title. You know, um, I mean, it, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, what do y'all think, actually? What do you guys think about these <sighs> references that are coming out about Drake? Because it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. Um uh, it's so many, bro. I lost track of this shit. It's just a lot of hit records. Is it L Drake or W Drake? Put it in the comments. L or W? Right. L's or W? L or W make it, Drake. Make it simple. Make it simple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, like I said, I've been seeing this shit, but you yeah. know, I've been ignoring it. Because it's a bunch of media shit. Mm -hmm. I heard the little, the uh, sexy red joint. Yeah, the, the BBL Drizzy joint, huh? Which he shouldn't have done that. I think that was a that, that was, was that was a bad move. And again, I feel like if he really was gonna do it, you might as well have actually did it the way Metro would have wanted you to do it. Right. Go go really download the shit and really put a record out and see how people react. But you yeah. just mixed it in Not, with sexy red, like you just use sexy right. red as bait. And, right, put her into a beef that she had no business being a part of, and she's the only girl involved in it now. Granted, <laughs> Not involved granted, in it, but you know. Granted, she with the smoke, but like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I think he should have just literally dropped like an actual record. Maybe that record yeah. should have been his apology. Yeah, I'm taking. I, I, I'm I mean, taking it too far. That could let me know in the comments if I'm taking it too far. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, um, yeah, I don't think apologies if necessary. Joined Metro's contest and actually won. That would have been crazy. That would have been right. That see, that's a good swing on it, right? I, I like that because it, it 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 shows that. All right, you're not taking it too serious. You. You're like, ah, fuck it, I don't care. Let me let me jump in. You know, you're playing along with the game, but but doing it on sexy red record didn't come off that way. Yeah. It came off that way like you nigga, you know, I petty. have control. It seemed petty. Typical yeah. Drake. Typical like, Drake. Like you made it seem like you like you were in PC. You feel like you it seemed like he was in control or feels like he's in control of 
I'm going to change the narrative, right? Because in that in that verse, he's talking about, oh, I pay for so much BBLs. So that's why I'm called BBL Drizzy. But it's like, uh, no, 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 no. You don't give a fuck about what you pay for women, my nigga. You're looking at them fake abs on your belly. That's what we're talking about. So don't spin the narrative about the BBLs. You can pay for what you want. You're, you know, I, this is the thing I don't understand. Why do people talk about their money to other people? We, you don't care. I mean, you know what? Uh, we don't. But I think that goes you know back to that. It goes back to that topic. To our main topic. Living above yeah. the means. Yeah. Yeah. They love it. They like some. They like hearing that shit. Which. Yeah. I'll keep it a buck. It ain't good, bro. It ain't all good. You feel me? To yeah. hear Drake talk about that. And then there's a chick probably crying in her room because she want a BBL so bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then my my joke to people is this. <clears throat> what is a BBL? Is it a Brazilian butt lift? Or is it a belly mm-hmm. button lift? Because I feel like they're talking about a belly button lift. <laughs> he clearly he clearly didn't get a butt lift, bro. Okay? Like, and if he did that, You're right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, think, I think he got a like I said, I know he got his, his abs sculpted. Well, I, well, that's right. Bro, I heard he got. I don't know what the nigga the, got. That's, but the that's what they've been saying, thing, right? Like, if you go get surgery, you got to be. They say, shout out Batman Kepo. They say Batman Kepo. Even got him, right? Yeah. Got to be BBL, right? And granted, they're, they're, that's not what those things are called, right? <laughs> <laughs> they just labeled it that. To be they just labeled it that. Shit, but I get it, man. Uh, it's, you know. Is it, is it as a man go work for your abs, man? <laughs> so work for your abs, man. Well, yeah, fuck it. That nigga young enough weight. to go get in the abs. Loaded weight. That's it. You know Absolute what I'm saying? Weight. Y'all, and y'all let Gunner come out of jail looking like a, a, a young um what's that nigga from WWE WWE <laughs> son? No, you're not. Um, no, you're not. The old nigga old now you're too, though, bro. Team, um, my nigga. You're Booker not. fucking T, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that's who uh gonna look like these days, bro. Hey, Young shout out Booker gonna, T, bro. That boy in the gym now. I fucks with you know it. what I mean? I fucks with it. But that's the thing, like, you know, like I said, going, going back to the Drake thing, I feel like, you know, I I don't doubt he's not gonna not have more bangers and more cool. good records. Like cool. that's gonna happen. Like he's a it's a good songwriter. I can't take that from him, but I think he should just focus on being more of a pop star and less and less of the greatest rapper you should leave that alone because you're going up against i mean you just went up against technically the best one and look how that turned out you know you probably want to leave the best topics to them and then wherever the fans put you they put you but don't don't proclaim it anymore leave, leave that part alone you know because it these niggas, these reference tracks coming out don't look good because they're some of your biggest songs. He better off saying King of Toronto. Yeah, uh, that you know what I mean? That's a more fitting title. Which no one is going to refute that. Is, right? Like, whatever. Right. But yeah, no one's going to say he's not. What's the joke? You know, I don't, I don't um, know if this joke is true or if it's real or. Mm-hmm. They're saying he could just change the color of the shit from his phone. That the, um, <clears throat> that building? I don't doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's hard. I don't. I think that's that would be dope. I I don't doubt him having the ability to do it. I mean, he's the man. He's brought so much money to that place and attention to to that place. He deserved the right to have some. Oh, no, not the greatest rapper. Granted, you should feel like that. Period about yourself. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. I just think right now in this moment, it ain't really. Yeah, it ain't ain't so crazy, bro. The more time goes on with rappers, bro, and and the more I realize that Nas is actually the greatest rapper ever, which is crazy, bro, because I've never been a Nas fan to that level. You know, but the more I see things happen, you know what I mean? The more I see things happen with artists. And rap rappers specifically, um, the more I, I think back, it, it I always go my mind go back to Nas for some reason. Um, I don't know why he's such a 
the, of a staple because there's no blemishes on his records. There's no, you know, Jay Z had the, the getting help from state property, right? Taking Chris and Neef songs. Um, I've never heard anything about Nas though. Probably won't. Uh, yeah, that's you know, no one Nas has ever said Nas, Nas took nothing from them. For sure. And you know, I'm not I mean? gonna say because I think we're in the same boat when you say like never really been a Nas fan. Like, granted, we listen yeah. to him, right? But I'm mm-hmm, not going to mm-hmm. like, after Nasir, like that project, that mm-hmm. album, yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Nas is... This the man. Nas is elite. Even his last album, like his last, yeah. what, three or... F- I don't even know if it's three or four. Bro, this nigga had like I think he did six albums with with with, with hit, um, hit boy hit hit boy. And again he got hit. king's disease one two and three fire you know those were hard as fuck so you, you know, know and and i think see you know that's that's another angle that i don't know if you know drake is i'm not gonna say open to but mm. it's like all right, bro. Like, and again, let's let's be real. How long was what's his run been? It's been a couple Ooh, of years. Nice. Drake, Drake, Drake. This been some years. Oh, fucking eight. <laughs> 20, 2009, 2024. Fuck, that's a long time, bro. That's nine, ten, duh, duh, fifteen. That's crazy. fifteen or sixteen years. Some shit like that. Um, I mean, that's good to. Be not on saying that, that long. It's his time to stop or none of that shit. But it's like no, 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 no. no. I just again going back to the real of it. It's like the truth is coming out. Yeah, man. But that's so, the thing. Like you start thinking about like, okay, how much help did you get, my nigga? Because if all your big songs are coming out and, and showing that someone else assisted you with it, my nigga. Like, like I said, who are you really? You know which one of the lyrics is is you, if he wrote it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's the thing. That's that's my thing with it. You know, I think that that that's more that's more of a hip hop head perspective rather than a, just a fan of who who enjoys that's good a, vibes. Yeah, I think music. that's something I was I was I was thinking about as you said it. Like, just to clear it up for people too, it's like, is Drake hip hop or is Drake rap? Right, because this is a hip hop conversation we're having because we yeah we know we know this and we know Kendrick mm-hmm. is hip hop. <laughs> yes, yeah. he has some pop yeah. shit, but K dot mm-hmm. is hip hop. You feel yeah. me? Nah, yeah, is strictly hip hop. <laughs> Strong, you know what I mean? That nigga is a- he's hip hop to the heart, like, to the bone, to the core. Yeah. So yeah, you know it. It's one of those things like mm-hmm. Drake bounced. He's he's been in and out of the hip hop, rap, pop star. Yeah, meaning, man. You know, so I think it's like, all right, bro, pick your lane, stick to your lane, and stay in it. And stay there. You don't gotta. <laughs> don't come over here and, again, and fuck with these. I'm West, nobody to stay leave at. these West Coast niggas alone, bro. Hey, yeah, please. niggas. Please leave them niggas alone, bro. Please, bro. <laughs> they different, Yo, bro. They, they different. Leave them boys alone. Bro. No one should fuck with West Coast artists. Leave them. Let them don't fuck let with them, them be. First of all, West Coast kill niggas the most. <laughs> y'all know this. <laughs> oh God, bro. Like, you know, right? Hey. West Coast is known for putting rap rappers in body bags. So that's the first thing. Second thing. Those when no niggas beef, they get dirty. And you know, DJ Quick, Ice Cube, Ice T, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, the game. And there's more niggas. But all of those niggas I just mentioned had some of the craziest beefs <laughs> or diss songs in rap history. Literally. So literally. You know, dumb niggas. West leave West Coast niggas alone. Right. Every everybody, Drake and everybody else rapping. Don't fuck with them niggas. Let them niggas be. They're in their own world. Let them stay there. 
you know uh but yeah to, I don't know, to let, let us know what y'all think man about drake is is, is this drake's fall off or is, is this a, a a fallback for 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 a good comeback or however the fuck they say that shit yeah we, we gonna um, see you know like we say all the time you know time gonna tell yeah drop it in oh, the yeah. comments um you feel me we let gonna, us know we're gonna drop the discord in there so y'all could like yeah you know what i mean hop in there and we could chop it up and shit. And uh I'm actually and for the last topic, we were just gonna run over the the Call of Duty Black oh, Ops man. 6 trailer real quick. I've been waiting for this, y'all. I just want y'all to know. Remember that dog uh, shit we was talking about earlier? Yeah. I want I want them to I want them to really before we oh, what the fuck is this? God damn, hold on. I'm trying to pull it up. Oh, what did it do that for? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we were talking we were talking about this earlier before we jumped on. So let's let's see what we got going on. The event. It's fun and easy. Spread the seeds and watch it grow. Our median home prices have fallen to $120,000. Recruitment for the CIA has reached an all-time high. New episode tonight at nine. Hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to you. We are talking to you. To you. You. You may remember. Remember. A better time. But it was false. The truth lies. We're blind to the lies. Blind to the lies. You must find the truth. Stop being sheep and become wolves. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Soon the truth will be revealed. Blessed are the peacemakers. Now nah, watch. Watch that, that teaser. This one here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was before we start. You that was crazy. Start. Like, what? Like that? That's black. That's a Black Ops trailer. Let me see. Oh, this is this must be a better one, I guess. Let's let's see what this is. I should wake him up. No. Wait. Nah, this is it. Call of Duty. Mm, nah, it's like it's it's some black and white. Let's see. <laughs> So I see. Uh, yeah, that live action, called live the, action reveal trailer. Mm-hmm. This one right here, right? Let's see what we got. Okay. We're recording. The truth is, your whole life is a lie. You wanted peace, so we hit the war. Now it reaches all in the shadows. <laughs> Behind the closed doors, where we hide the world's secrets. While we build your trust, the world falls apart around you. If you weren't so distracted, you'd realize that nothing is what it seems. But if it's truth you seek, look in the dark. Hmm. Play it day one with Game Pass. That's interesting. I think this is what you this is what you were talking about. This right here. There's truth you seek. Look in the darkness. But yeah, that see, that's the thing. Like, and we were talking about them using um you know black characters as like the main, right? We just we just saw this Sessions Creed trailer, Yosuke and the other lady. Um, and now Black Ops is this black guy, oh, which which I guess m- works. <laughs> and but it, you see, they, they're saying a lot of cryptic shit in there, where it's on that Illuminati type yeah. end of the world talk. That's what it seems like. I'm wondering what era are they basing this game off? What years? You know, is they bring it? Are they bringing it to the 2000s? Yes. So. I don't know if the leak is official, 
Yeah. But apparently somebody's saying it might be uh the towers. Mm. Really? I don't know if it's like you feel me, that's kind of been the talk online right now. It's like it might be around that time. Two two thousand one? Ish. Hmm. I mean, you've seen they had the uh, Pentagon. They had all the... Right, right. So, you know, I, mean, I don't know but if it's a... If, you know, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like I said, it's crazy I mean, that... That would be tough because... Yeah, that'll be very tough. It would be George Bush then, though. Still, I, but you get... Because that was George it Bush. Was, era. It was, it was. I don't know hmm. officially, but that's kind of the talk. Or I think it might be a map. Interesting. You might be able to. It might be a mission, maybe, or something. So to to, to do the. Oh, I'm not sure wow. though. You feel me? But that would be insane. That would be crazy, bro. Like, I mean, damn, bro. Like, I mean, I was gonna say, like, would they give them the rights to do that? But nigga, they did world Vietnam War. They get you know, like, same shit. Like, what's the difference? People died there too, so I don't see them having a problem with it was saying that a lot of people would be heard about it and all this and all that and um you know <clears throat> when i seen when i seen a video i i put in the comments i'm like it's just wild to me that i seen the whole thing yeah from beginning yeah, see, to like end. seeing that shit happen in real time yeah. yeah i still bro till this day this is how long from now bro i still feel like it was a movie it, it, that's what it seemed like as you know and and then what we're referencing guys is like we, we actually saw the twin towers the planes crash and we actually watched the buildings fall in real time you know we lived in new york we went to school in new york so we were able to see all that shit happening from our school's windows um like i like i told but i told people for me it was the weirdest because it's like this is my math class Mm-hmm. And where I sit, I always look out, you know, look out the window, mm-hmm. get a little dry erase yeah. marker, and I'll be like drawing the shit. I'll be like, yeah. I could trace the shit out through the glass. Right. And, you know, that one day I'm like, I look, because again, you know, you see planes all the time. Yeah. But usually, you know, like that plane is further in the distance. This yeah. time I'm like, I'm tapping my home, but I'm like, I'm like, yo, the the plane, and I'm I'm now I'm like raising my hand. I'm like, my math teacher was not trying <laughs> to hear me. On oh, God, the nigga was not trying to listen yeah. to me. I'm like, yeah, but the the what the the, and I, I just sat there and I ain't say shit. I just sat there. I'm like, they shooting a movie. Yeah, like they shooting a movie. The, exactly. <laughs> it's a exactly. movie. That's what it felt like, bro. Bro, I mean. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, bro. <clears throat> probably. Yeah. probably. In, in real time. Probably. To, to see that. Then to know. get out of school so, and smell. The, and smell that fire, right? The debris. Yeah, the debris. Yeah, man. But, I went. Yeah. Cryptic. I went to visit the site. Mm-hmm. I went to visit the, 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 the trade center, like, right when they allow people to come. You can. You could kind of. I can't say you could smell the bodies. Not, not really. Actually, not at all. Because there's so much metal that was in the air, you couldn't really smell the bodies. You can smell smell more of the metal so, in the air rather than dead bodies. Over hopefully, there. this it was this doesn't going to ruin the video. Yeah, but <sighs> the smell we were smelling after school. Mm. Is usually the mm-hmm. smell you smell when there's a demolition. Right. It, exactly. That's so, what it smelled like more than anything. If you know, you know. That's as much I'm going to say yeah. type shit. But yeah. mind you, our school is in Brooklyn. Right. This is That's Manhattan. Twin Towers is in, <laughs> it's in Manhattan. Granted, it's not that far. But realistically, but, yeah. that is a far distance for us to smell that shit that pungent like yeah. it smelled yeah. like it was that right up the street crazy, yeah but again yeah. um i don't know if they're gonna do it i don't know you feel me that'd be seeing the people though. they I, have I, in I would, the trailer I would play. those are some interesting characters right. to have 
talking about mm-hmm. shit and doing missions, but curious, curious to see. And it's modern time too. They don't look old like it, like it's like from the seventies or eighties, right? It looks like it's like they 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 caught up to our time in a sense, you know. Like you might be right, two thousand one, you know, some shit like nineteen ninety something. We gonna see. Um, but like I that said, that should be interesting. See how it starts. The truth. It starts with truth, and so yeah. Why? Why truth? Why yeah. darkness? Why truth now? Right. You know, is it, 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 it's fucking. Oh, the video game companies listen to Cat Williams too. I'm not even <laughs> gonna. You know what's crazy? <laughs> right. I'm not even gonna say that. Is he? It's not even that. It's just they know as well. Yeah. E- even in the movies, yeah. bro. It's in the movies too. It's, it's definitely mm-hmm. in the movies and the shows that's happening. It's like truth, darkness. What? Yeah. You want truth? You gotta go in the dark. Oh yeah. And that's just true, true shit. If you, you gotta bring it. To- you got to bring it to light, right? The lot, you know, the truth is always hidden. Definitely. You got to shine that that lantern over there, like, yo, what's over here? <laughs> oh shit, that's what's over here. Yeah, yo, y'all, check this out. Yeah. Look, 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 you know, look at the light over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's really going on, not all this other shit. You know, so I mean, this should be an interesting game. Um, I'm excited to see the time period, and we'll we'll, we'll follow it on oh, the podcast yeah. as well. So. As this as it develops, be, we'll, we'll, it should be dropping some uh, shit soon. Look, some game yeah, players. We'll coming. look at other trailers. But you know what I mean. Let me know what y'all but, think of that. That's yeah, guys. That's it. Let me know what y'all think. You know, of all the topics we hit tonight, we hit some good ones for you guys as always. You know the drill. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, put some comments, likes, hit the notification bell. Y'all guys will know when we're on. Yep. Um, comment, like, you know the drill, man. Um, Frazier. 15, 15 here all. real life shift we're gonna holler at you guys next time episode 20 will be next we gotta do this 19 we gotta do something but 20, we, we got you yeah we got y'all you know what i mean so we'll see you guys next time all right peace 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 yes sir